through this. Do I do it? No. I'm still extremely pissed off at these guys. And I'm just going to continue on. Go back here, check out one of these other areas. I'm going to grab that iron that I saw earlier. So I'll meet you there. Here we are. Let's see if I can... Okay. Okay. Alright, I need a bow. I'll be back. Okay, we're back here. Let's see if we can get some of this lovely, lovely iron. Okay, there's a creeper spawner down there. Look at him running around like a headless chicken. Get away. There's another one. Alright, so what do we got? One, two, three, four blocks. One, two, three, four, four, four. Okay. So I'm gonna cheese this one. Cheese it good. I'm done with creepers. Back, jump up. Away from me. I don't want to see your mug. Yeah, I can see a spawner. All the flames from it. You'll get out. Alright, where is it? Jesus. Uh, that's not good. Give me one, give me one. Uh, <laughs> trapped. Okay, let's see if I can take this down. That creeper looking at me. Damn you. Get away from me. Okay. Let's grab this because I'm starving. Grab that stuff. And let's get this iron. Iron is good. That's that grabbed. And I will grab this warty melon. Very nice. What have I got? 14 pieces of iron. Alright, I'm going to go back and make some buckets up. And I'm not really too sure. I think that this... I should have come at this from another way 
and then found the wall at the end. I think finding the wall the way I did was kind of a fluke, so I'm not sure actually what is going to be down there apart from despair. But I'm going to go and have a look. So anyway, let's go back and smelt this iron down and make a few buckets. Okay, so I've been sitting here vacillating and thinking about what I should have done and how I should have done things differently and I realized I can make charcoal and I never thought of it before and now I feel like such an idiot because charcoal is a game changer I've got trees as many trees as I want and I've got as much charcoal as I want and therefore I have as many torches as I want and for some reason that option just eluded me so yeah I'm an idiot what can I say alright back here and where's my drink oh. there it is Let's carry on. Fuck you. Now I have torches. And the world seems like a much nicer place to be. Grab this iron. And we're going to just light things up like the 4th of July. Or bonfire night. Bonfire Night is the 5th of November in England and it's where we celebrate where a man called Guy Fawkes tried to blow up the Houses of Parliament with the King, King Charles I, inside. In those days Parliament was called whenever the King decided, so maybe once or twice a year The date of the 5th of November was called by King Charles I to call Parliament. And the English Catholics wanted to get rid of him. So they placed huge amounts of gunpowder underneath the Houses of Parliament. And they were going to basically blow the, the whole shebang to pieces and kill the King and hopefully usher in a Catholic England and they were led by a man called Guy Fawkes and unfortunately for them their plot was discovered the gunpowder was discovered uh, the chief henchman the, of the King's secret police rounded up all of the Catholics and they were brutally killed and I mean brutally the rebellion was put down and England remained Protestant and that was the 5th of November and that day is celebrated by fireworks so on the 5th of November Little kids in England make little stuffed dummies of Guy Fawkes and go out on the streets and ask for a penny for the guy. And on the evening you have massive fireworks displays all over England. Okay, let's get up here.
Charles the First was Queen Mary of Scots. Oh, here, here we are. Look, I've come up in one of those little holes I was investigating earlier. Oh my. Yep. Okay, so we'll carry on down here. Charles the first was Charles the seventh of Scotland and Charles the first of England and he was the son of Mary Queen of Scots who was the cousin of Elizabeth the first who was the French Catholic Queen of Scotland who was eventually executed by Elizabeth and by all accounts was a uh, quite a beautiful woman her son didn't take after her he was a bit of a an ugly man in nature as well as in looks uh, but a bit sadistic And when he took the throne of Scotland and England, he decided to remain Protestant, which annoyed the Catholics who believed that he would follow his mother's religion and turn England into a Catholic state again. And that is the reason they decided to plot against his life. As I wind my way up this little area, seems to be mob friendly at the moment. And it looks... have I been here? I was going to say this looks like an area I've been in, but it isn't. Let's grab this watermelon. Oh god, why didn't I think of charcoal before? Just goes to show you, you're never as smart as you think you are. Okay, what's through here? I can see a skelly. Yep, I see you. And I also have a bow. Oh, I love the new bow sound. Oops. Get owned. I am a man on a mission. I am back in the game. More determined than ever. I see coal. Let's uh, block this up because that's just uh, stupidity waiting to happen right there. Grab me some coal. Ow, go away. Get away, please. Spider, give me your eye. All right, moving on. Let's munch on some melon. So refreshing. No, I don't like this. This lava is bad. Okay, I see a chest in there. And 
and creepers. Oh, that's such a satisfying sound. Let's put that down. I have to remember I still don't have any armor. Bring it, Skelly. I have arrows for days. Let's just run in like a crazy lunatic. 